thought of one more video I want to do before uh, we finish this pace, and that's to kind of give you a heads up on a type of problem that is on, on the pace test. In fact, there's like five of them on the test, and uh, they're not on the self-test. So you might look at the self-test and think, oh, goody, I don't have to worry about those too much on the pace test. Well, there's a couple of them on there. Question 36, 37, 38 on the self-test. But there are five of them on the pace test, and they are a bit more challenging than the ones in the, in the self-test. So I would recommend you review the third checkup, okay, and that third section. But I want to talk about um, one particular problem and see if I can clarify. And maybe you've been a little confused as you've gone through that section about ASA, SSS, SAS, and knowing which is which, okay? So let's take a problem like this one that I just made up. It's similar to one you had further back in the pace. <clears throat> so we have um, these lines, these triangles, and uh, the problem says if B is the midpoint of DE and DE is perpendicular to DC and DE is also perpendicular to AE, prove that triangle AEB, that's this one, is congruent to triangle CDB, all right? Now we have to take the information they give and use that. We cannot, all right? I have to stress this. You cannot look at the diagram and say, oh, this side looks like it's the same as that. So you go marking that they're equal. You cannot do that, all right? You have to use only the information they give or information that is absolutely positively known by looking at the diagram. We do not know that this side equals this side, okay? And you can't take out your ruler and say, well, I measured it and it's the same. That is against the rules of geometry, okay? You cannot do that. So let me show you what you can do. Let's say B is the midpoint of DE. If B divides this into two equal parts, I absolutely can make a mark here and put a tick mark there, and the single tick mark means those two line segments are congruent, okay? They're equal to each other. I know that. DE is perpendicular to DC. All right, here we go. Now, what do we know about lines that are perpendicular? They meet and they're perpendicular. What kind of an angle do they form? They form a right angle, right. So let's mark, we'll put a little box there, and that is a reminder, that's the code in geometry, that that is a 90 degree right angle. We also know that DE is perpendicular to AE. So that means this angle is also a right angle, okay, because they're two perpendicular lines. So far I know two angles that are congruent, I know two sides that are congruent, and they stopped giving me any, inform any more information. And like I said, I cannot look at it and say, this angle looks to be the same as that. Can't do that. I can't say this side and this side are the same, or this side and this side. We can't do that. But there is one more piece of information that we absolutely positively know. All right, this is kind of like a hidden picture. So study the diagram. Do you see the two other parts of these triangles that we know have to be congruent? Whenever we have two lines that intersect, the angles across from each other that only share the vertex, but they share the, you know, they're the two lines, those vertical angles absolutely positively are congruent every single time. So vertical angles right here and right here will be congruent. So even though that was not included here, that we can determine from the diagram. So now I have two angles that are congruent, two more angles congruent, these two sides congruent. So hopefully you can notice that it's going to have to be the angle, side angle, congruent to the angle, side angle of the other triangle. So ASA would be the code for that one. All right. That kind of concludes my uh, preparation for the PACE test. Like I said, study that third section and the third checkup some more. And then study the um, postulates and your handbook. Make sure you know that fairly well and are able to fill in blanks on the test. 
Um, and uh, I think that's about it. I hope you do well.